Delighty Boxing with Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions. Returning to our screen is Mark Chamberlain, a 7 0 lightweight. Now, I'm going to ask you something straight off the bat. Um, Mark de Bomb seems to have been put to one side, doesn't it? Yeah. What's happened there? Marky boy? What's that? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. The de Bomb come from Frank Hopkins. When we was up in Leicester, I was getting ready to weigh in and he's gone over to the MC and turned up. So I call him as in Mark the Bomb. I didn't have a clue. I'm stood there in my boxes <laughs> waiting to get in the, like weighed in and they've gone, Mark the Bomb. And I'm like, is that me or what? And uh, he's like, go on, go, get out there. So I don't know, just for, ever since that day, he stitched me up and that's what he wanted it to be. And then I changed it. And then, yeah, I haven't really got a nickname to be honest. Just Mom, whatever Mom. you want to call me, call me. Marky boy seems to be the, the thing yeah. the last time, isn't it? So did you actually go to the MC and say, this is how I want to be addressed now? No. Frank done that behind my back. Oh, he changed then, it behind your back Yeah, again. he changed it behind my back. And then I spoke to Steve Finesse. I said, Steve, can you change that on box rec? Because I don't really like it. Frank stitched me up. He said, all right, what do you want it to be? He said, what do people know you as? Ever since a little kid, I was called Marky. And obviously, Marky boy, I'm now like a man, so Marky boy, I don't, I don't know, just whatever. Yeah, you're not going to win this one, are no. you? The people have said loads of names to do, but that, whatever. <laughs> Last time I ventured down south to Southampton, um, you were absent. I was told you were building a tree house with your girlfriend or something, <laughs> having departed Southampton and moved back to Pompey. What's all that about? Well, I wouldn't say tree house. Log cabin, maybe. Log uh, cabin. But similar, yeah. Um, yeah, no, basically, I moved. Last time I see you, I think I was living in Southampton. Yeah. Um, that was right by the gym, so it just worked well. Um, and then uh, decided that we was going to move back home um, to like buy a house. And we, we was renting the place, and it was just like 1,400 quid a month. Wow. Just to rent the place. Must be a nice place. So, Moved back home, saved some money and what have you, and then, uh, yeah, gonna buy a place, so. But you bought a lot of cabin. Yeah, well, it's better than being in a little box bedroom, I suppose. But yeah, now you've got your own freedom down there. You've got my mum, dad in the house. Washing machine. Yeah, washing machine. I, I don't know who's louder, actually. My mum or the washing machine. Forever <laughs> shouting. I'll Come. get down there and get out of the way, see? You talk about the box room and house. Have you transferred your posters into the log cabin? No, funny enough, um, I think one of the rooms, my old bedroom, uh, my dad and my brother made it into their office for work. So in the office is like a wall full of belts, trophies and everything like that. So yeah. Oh. So is Mark still there, is he? Sorry, Jamie's still there. Yeah, 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 Jamie's there. He's uh, in the process of buying his own house now, yeah. So. He'd be moving out probably in the next. So does he come down months. to your log cabin to sort of escape the house? Is nah. he allowed in? I have to lock the door and keep them all away. Yeah. yeah. Right, we better move on. It's getting a bit weird. This. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, your last fight. Yeah. Uh, you fought a ten and one man yeah. over eight rounds for the first time. Um, he gave you gave you the work. Went the distance, but. Before, when you went the distance, he used to irritate the fuck out of you. He didn't seem to bother this time. No, I'll tell you the truth. I, I'm not learning nothing stopping people. So, Sean come and he come to win. And he done eight rounds. Fair play to him. He went down twice, he got up and he carried on. But yeah, no, he, he definitely come to win. He was chopping, chopping away to the body that seemed to sort of really wear him down in the end, didn't it? Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I think it was two body shots that put him down, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, no, uh, from what I can remember of it, when, when was it? October? Yes, yeah. I think it was October, yeah, no, it was It was, was the good. studio, wasn't it? So, yeah. yeah. Funny enough, he was up here last Friday, come up and does some sparring. Um, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, you you get in the ring, you have your fight, you shake hands, and then yeah, we're, like we're sparring good, each other, helping each other out. So. together as well, didn't you? So. Yeah. That was good, and uh, Frank seemed happy with it, didn't he? Yeah. Him? Yeah, yeah, definitely. A valuable look round. I think when people are expecting you to knock people out all the time, it's yeah. all, 
Well, Frank was sat ringside and I could hear him shouting, bring the uppercut up, do this and do that. And funny enough, it was working every time he was saying it and I was landing the shot. And then I, obviously I got out of the ring and Frank came over, shook my hand, just said like, how well I've done. And yeah, it was impressive. He's got a bit of history with that, hasn't he? Where he gives a little bit of advice from ringside and it actually works. And it's the shot he tells them to do from ringside, they do and they end up getting the win. I mean, yeah. Sam Maxwell's the obvious one. Remember that fight yeah. against that, that Sabiri? Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Brad Foster had it as well in a yeah. British title fight, so... Yeah. It obviously works for you too. Um, now then, your next fight, I believe you're on the the March show, isn't it? March 27th? 27th, yeah. Copper so The second one of the double header. Yeah, they've got one on the Friday as well, yeah. haven't they? Any idea what you're looking at? Another eight rounds, um, opponent-wise, I'm not sure. They're sorting it out as we speak, so, yeah. You must be kind of getting into sort of eliminator territory sort of approaching, aren't you? I hope so, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what the plan is. Maybe one more eight-rounder, then maybe something, or something after that. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they've got planned for me, but... This would be your eighth, but yeah. is there one more after that? I'm nearly there, aren't I? You're nearly in, you're nearly in double figures. Um, so, actually, there was something else I wanted to I made make a note of. Do you think in uh, years to come, there'll be a trivia question that will go, who was the first winner in a British ring post the first lockdown. 2020 lockdown? Do you know what? A lot of people say that to me. Oh, you was like, uh, just remember you was the first one to box since lockdown. Yeah. To, to me, it was just another fight, but it, really, it, it was a big thing, I suppose, because yeah. I, I was the first one to box. Well, how many days was it? Loads well, it was at least. So it was July 9th we came back. Yeah. So that was the show. And what was it? Mid March we went into Something lockdown. Like that, yeah. so Who would have known that? It would have been me, eh? Yeah. Out of all the people. History maker. So I was going to say initially first into the ring, but you wouldn't have been because no. Stu Greener would have been first into the ring as yeah. the away fighter. So that's why I have to say first British winner. Oh, yeah. I think that might be a trivial pursuit question somewhere down the line. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, you, you probably still won't get it, will you? <laughs> but um, the other thing I wanted to put to you is the your division um, worldwide is a, a very glamorous but brutal division at the moment, isn't it? People Hard talk, division, isn't it? Yeah, people yeah, are talking good, about good the four things. kings and all that. Yeah. And I hate to tell you, but these four kings aren't much older than you, are they? No. Yeah. Well, first name that came to my head then was Garcia. Old G, 23, 24. 22, 23, like isn't he? Yeah. Well. Now I'm 22. Yeah. Um, Tiafimo's 23, isn't he? Yeah. I think the oldest one would be Tank, wouldn't it? Javonta, yeah. They're all serious names, aren't they? Maybe we get there, who knows? Well, I mean, you're a fighter, you, you look at these things. What do you reckon? I hope so, yeah. I mean, no, but how far away do you think you are? You look at them and sort of think, yeah, I'll have some of that. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me, but at the right time and the right place, if you know what I mean. Obviously, I've only had seven fights, this would be my eighth. They're like 20 odd fights in. That's and true, yeah. Experience, isn't it, I suppose, but we'll get there. Well, how do, you, how do you like each one? I mean, who do you think, what do you think of the strengths and weaknesses of the individuals? I don't know. Do you know one fight I'd like to see is uh, Javonna and Garcia? Yeah. In my opinion, I think Javonta wins, but you just don't know, dear. Do you? What well, do you think if, like, last year got chinned by Luke Campbell? Well, he went down, didn't he, yeah. as well? If he got chinned by Campbell Tank, and Tank, then it would be a hell of a lot harder, wouldn't yeah. it? On the he might not get back up, who knows? Yeah. But Garcia's got to turn up on the night as well, hasn't he? They both have. Right. What about your thoughts on Tiafimo? Lopez. He boxed um, about two weeks ago, wasn't it? Uh, no, no that last was Valdez, wasn't Lomachenko, it? wasn't it? Yeah. His last, I mean, he dominated, yeah. he took Lomachenko by surprise probably the first half of the fight. Yeah. Lomachenko was a bit slow into it, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. And then he, he wanted the rematch, didn't he? And he said no. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't seem to want to go there no. again, does he? He beat him fair and square, though, didn't he? Mm. So, Devin yeah. Haney, more technical, more fiddly? Yeah, do you know what? I haven't really watched much on him. Uh, obviously, I've seen his name out there and whatever. Is that, he was at the Campbell fight, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. Was he want Garcia calling him out or something in the crowd? No, he wants to fight Garcia. He wants to fight him, yeah. Even though technically, 
um, Haney is a world champion, yeah. even though he didn't win it in the ring. No. So out of all of them, you think Tank? Yeah, I think Tank's number one, my opinion. People might say different, but... You checked out your rating on Pop Threat recently. 14? 14, yeah. Um, do you think it should be a bit higher, or do you think it's a... You know what? Me fighting Sean, I think, put me right up there, because I was, like, 40 or 50-something. Yeah. I don't... I one, think... That's what one win can do, doesn't it? Yeah, but I, I think the rankings mean nothing, because you've got people ranked below me that are, like, mandatory for a title. Yeah. That's boxer, isn't it? We don't yeah, I think it's a load of crap, to, to be honest. And Jamie noticed when he's 70. I'm not sure. He, he ain't bo he's only had three fights, so he? He, he ain't boxed for a while. How's he coping with this sort Because of, he's like one of, one of the victims of the uh, Yeah, he'll be here in a minute. Uh, but he, he's been doing like two nights a week, three nights a week, doing a bit of running and that. But obviously when you ain't got a date and you've got nothing to train for, it's like what's the point of being here, but yeah. it, the phone could go any minute. Like what if, I don't know, Frank Warren was to ring up and say, I've got a lad here, um, do you want to fight him? Yeah. You don't know, do you? It's still hard to motivate though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he stays fit all year round anyway. So. This year, this final question, what realistically do you think can happen to yourself? Yeah. You can get into that British title mix or just get a first title? I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't know what route they want to go down with me, whether it's European or English or British, whatever. Um, but yeah, wh whatever route they put me down, I'll, I'll grab it with both hands and have a go. So yeah. What would your preference be? Then? Um, I don't know. A lot of boys are fighting like for the Europeans, isn't they? Like the WBOs and that. So I don't know. What, they don't always get a lot of credit for it, do they? So. Yeah, I mean. Same as anything, it's a business. Where, wherever the money is, you go, don't you? As simple as that. So. You have to buy a new treehouse. Yeah, I might put an extension on it and a roof. Yeah. All right, Mark. Well, it's good talking to you. Um, we look forward to seeing you on March 27th, yeah. live on BT Sport. So work hard and be good. Cheers.